Welcome back, Storytimers. Today's read aloud is You Really Truly Do Belong by Gina Kazaza and Leah Ampliva. When I arrived to this world, everything was one big whirl. So many places, so many faces, and oh, so very many races. Where should I go exploring first? I was so excited. I could burst. This world was so big and vast. I couldn't wait to find friends fast. The first group that I came across was outside playing lacrosse. I'd never played that game before and I didn't want to ruin the score. Since I couldn't play along, I felt like I did not belong. I walked up the hill and around the bend, hoping to find some different friends. The next group that I landed on was playing outside on the lawn, dancing and singing with each other, one song after another. I couldn't dance or sing a song, another place I didn't belong. So I continued on my way, hoping I'd find a place to play. The next group I found was lifting rocks off the ground. This group was so strong and tough, it made me feel not good enough. I kept on chugging right along, hoping to find a place I belong. After a little bit of walking, I found a new group of people talking. This group had to be the one. They were having so much fun. They were building a racing car. I could tell they were really smart. I was afraid that I'd look dumb and that a place would never come where I would feel like I belong. And so I just kept moving on. But then I thought, this can't be right. I cannot give up this fight. I'm going to find someone like me, even if I have to climb a tree. Up and up and up I went, hoping to find someone to be friends. I did not see anyone around, but I did see a tiny town. I ran and ran to the town square, hoping to find people there. There was not a single person in sight. Things were not looking bright. I realised a great big sigh and tried really hard not to cry. I closed my eyes and made a wish. At this point, I would have taken a fish. But then a voice said, Come along. I hoped it would take me where I belonged. I followed the voice through the town and I couldn't believe what I found. The voice led me to a stage. I was a little nervous. It felt so strange. Whoever was out there, I couldn't see. But suddenly a spotlight came on me. Is anybody there? I asked. The crowd responded. You made it at last. Who are these voices? I had no clue, but my curiosity grew. I moved in to get a better look. My hands trembled and my knees shook. What a magnificent and happy sight. I wasn't sure if this could be right. It was all the people I had met telling me something I would never forget. You were so fast to run away, we never got a chance to say. We really want to be your friend if you would just come back again. We've been trying to tell you all along, you really truly do belong. For the first time since I'd come here, I didn't want to disappear. My heart filled up with all their love as everybody gave me hugs. It didn't matter if I could play lacrosse or dance or sing or toss a rock. It didn't matter if I could build a racing car. What mattered was what's in my heart. It all came down to one belief that I'm now ready to put to sleep. That there was not a place for me to be the person I wanted to be. The new belief for which I've longed is that I really, truly do belong. Thank you for listening and don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.